and welcome to Cruise 5. Today, Cruise 5 is at the residence of the Sute family and our guest is Sharin Sute, a lady of different talents. And uh, she's going to tell us more about this. She's going to tell us more about her paintings. But uh, first, let me welcome you to the show. Welcome. Thank you so much, Joab. It's such a pleasure having you visiting us. Thank you. Yeah, I enjoy watching your show. Thank you. So honored to be one of your guests. It's a pleasure to, uh, to be here and thank you for opening uh, the doors of your house to us. Uh, and as I was saying, uh, it looks like you are into uh, a gazillion things. Uh, the, what, what exactly do you do? Uh, we will talk about your art a little bit later. Okay, basically, I'm a very creative person. Okay. I love to do things with my hands. Yes. I love creating beautiful things. Um, for example, the chairs we're sitting on right now, chairs and table. Um, this is pallet furniture. Pallet furniture. Yeah, it's made out of pallets, warehouse ah, pallets. You're right. These are, these are the things that they put crates on top of. Exactly, stuff. in warehouses. So yes. I buy those. Um, disassemble them and then reassemble to whatever design a client would like. Okay. So you get, you can have them painted or just sanded and varnished yeah. uh, with your choice of cushions. I make the cushions as well. You made, you made these as well? Yes. Yeah. Wow. So it depends what, what a client wants. Yes. And, but if I'm not able to do something, I like to say that I can't do. Things like this. You, you do them more like just a pastime. It's not like you've got, a, um, you've got a place that you do this thing and would you go to the warehouse, go to the But when people see your work and they say, can you make that thing for me? And then you, you, you custom make it kind of. Yes, I don't actually have an outlet. Okay. okay? I'm making all the stuff from home. Okay. And with this particular thing, the, the furniture, yeah. it was actually during the pandemic okay because yeah. i i help my mom with her business okay. but i have a lot of time on my hands all right okay so i thought okay what can i do to keep me busy um there was a semi lockdown yeah. which kept us at home so i decided okay let me get a carpenter i can work with okay. and start creating stuff at home so this is what i did and people saw it friends saw it and they ordered some so I managed to sell some and I've still got some pending orders. So out of it being a pastime, I, I managed to actually employ somebody as well as generate a bit of income with it. And I enjoyed doing it. It looks like it must be fun. Yes. But what exactly do you do with your hands out of this? Because I don't, I, don't, I don't know if you're the one who's been cutting stuff. And <laughs> not, the, not the cutting, <laughs> but I do. Okay, the designs. Yes. I, I do the designs, um, the supervision yeah. of the work, okay. um, the choice of fabric, yeah. uh, well, obviously buying the stuff, yeah. and then the painting. Yeah. I do help with the painting. If I see something's moving yeah. a bit too slow, then yeah. Yeah, I'll then help. You, you can help out. Yes, yeah. Then, you can help out. I'm going to my apron. Oh, yeah. picky, right? Yes. Okay. Mene corona ina bwera, banali anto amafuna mama skambiri. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. So I employed a tailor yeah. who helped me making masks, yeah. you know, out of chitenche. Yes, yes. So I got orders for yeah. that. I made masks. Yeah. While making the masks, yeah. I thought, what else can I do? You know, seeing as I have the tailor here with me, let me create other stuff. So I started making aprons. Um, cooking aprons. Ah. The aprons were doing well. Then I thought, okay, what else can I do? Let's diversify a bit. <laughs> then I went into domestic uniforms. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm also. So, uh, I mean, you obviously struck me as a, quite a creative person. And, and I don't know how this came about. Are you coming from a background of a family with different kinds of uh, uh, talents and skills? Or this is your own thing? You're just finding out that you've got these hidden talents in you? From my ancestors, I wouldn't say they're very creative, okay. but we've always liked to do stuff. All right. You know, don't just sit, yes, there's corona, so yeah. the people can use that as an excuse to just sit back and yeah. say, well, you know, there's nothing there's I can nothing do, I can't, do. I can't get a I can't job. I, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so 
I've, I've learned to be creative. My mother especially has always done, ever since I can remember, because my mother was divorced when I was very young. And um, from a young age, well, when my brother and I were young, there's two of us, my yes. brother and I, my mom has brought us up, paid school fees, sent us to the best schools, yes. um, provided us with a good home all yes. the time. Um, yeah, so I've learned from her. She's always done something. So your mother she's, is quite an enterprising woman, I guess. She really is. She's, yes. I remember her selling rice. Yes. My mother worked as well in accounts uh, for Leyland Motors. From there, she, she bought buses and mm. she was running her own buses. Mm. Then she went into general trading, Malonda trading. She yeah. was distributing sugar, packaging mm. sugar and distributing. And um, she's done trucking as well. So she's always done something. So I guess if you're growing up in that kind of home, yeah. you also don't just sit back. Yes. You know, you always want to do something. I'm forever doing something. I can see that. Yeah. I can see I, that this, is, this feels very comfortable and this looks beautiful. If you saw this somewhere, you wouldn't know that this, this is coming from the the usual palette and how many of my free G, my yeah, exactly, and, and then you exactly. tend to do something as interesting. Other people as burn the stuff. Yeah, so, they burn them. Yeah. Exactly. But, but you can turn them into something really, really attractive. Mm. I have seen some of your work, um, especially the paintings that you do, and mm. we'll get to see that a little bit later. Uh, but before we do that, I want to know more about what drove you into that, uh, because I don't know, how does one just pick a, a, a brush and start painting? Actually, it, it is accidental, let's say. Is um, it? Yeah, it actually I, is. I would like um, to get into that accident sometime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, um, one Christmas, I didn't know what to give my daughter. I was like, <laughs> I want to give her something different. What can I do? I don't want to just go and buy a toy or whatever. So... I said to my cousin, okay, we're going to make her a, a dollhouse. We're going to actually build a dollhouse yeah. in the back of the garden. Yeah. So we did that. Within a few days, we put up, uh, we got some plywood, block board, got a carpenter, knocked up a, a lovely dollhouse. Yeah. And she didn't know all this was going on. Okay. Painted it. And then I decided, no, it's not enough. Let me just paint some flowers, you know, butterflies on it. And it looked pretty, looked really nice. So I thought, okay, that's And okay. by this time you had not done any painting at all. So you're just like using your imagination. Yeah, like just, this is how it would look like. Exactly. Okay. So I did that. Then a few years later, well, I would just sketch in a book, like, yeah. you know, just grab a pencil and draw. Yeah. I don't know why. It's just like, oh, let me try. Let me see if I can do this. Okay. Then I think the same cousin must have noticed that, okay, she's quite good. Yeah. Then she, she brought, uh, no, she showed me a, a painting that somebody else had done. Okay. It was of uh, a woman that had, had the map of Africa as her hair. Yeah. So she said to me... Um, do you think you could you could try and do this for me? So I said, yeah, I can give it a try. And but must have been your first challenge to do a painting was, of that nature. Exactly. Yeah. And of course, I had to make sure it comes out nice <laughs> in order to impress her. Yeah. I didn't have anything to uh, paint with at that time. Yeah. I went into the store and I got a piece of block board, yeah, yeah. <laughs> an old tablecloth, <laughs> which I nailed yeah. onto. Yeah. And I used I used house paints, acrylic paints, yes, yes. you know, for the background. I drew the woman and like for earrings and stuff, I took nail polish <laughs> for her lips and I put glitter and yeah. stuff, you know, yeah. just to make it look nice. And it actually turned out really, really nice. So she's like, oh, you know, you're really good. Maybe you should take this up. And then, yeah, about three years ago, I did my first one just yeah. for myself. Yes. And then every time I showed, you know, cousins, they're like, oh, you know people, what? People, people you, love this. You're really good. I think you, sh you should do this. Wow. So from then on, I started doing like one at a time. And yeah. I found it to be very therapeutic. That's what I hear. Yeah. That's what so I hear. Very therapeutic. I mean, I could just disappear and spend hours yeah. in there. And once... I started doing it. So I was like, I'm not leaving until I'm done with this painting. Yeah. Then sometimes, okay, if you don't stop your painting, and I think 
most painters or artists will tell you this that if you don't stop you can carry on changing you carry on two days later you're like you know what is that so i don't like this is yet. that so or you add something else <laughs> uh, uh, i can I, I kind of uh, associate with that because mm -hmm. i think this is a this is a work of art mm -hmm. and you can never really say i have produced a perfect work of art exactly. because in, in your eyes it may not look great but in somebody's eyes it's going exactly. to look absolutely great exactly. so you're always trying to improve always trying to improve and sometimes that's sometimes it's not such a good thing yes okay it's because it's like cooking right i'll cook a dish yeah you taste it yeah no i no. think i should add I, I, this spice I, yeah, or yeah. i should add salt yeah. or the color is not right yeah. let me you know make yeah, it yeah, look yeah. better yeah yeah Sometimes and then you, you might end, end up, up with, messing it up. Sometimes you mess it up. Sometimes you end up with something totally you know? different. Yeah, yeah, something super. So they advise you. Okay, the the professional yeah. painters will say to you, you know, once you think you've done enough on a painting, stop. Sign, sign it. Oh, what bang a sign? They don't take them. They don't take them. I've done it. Yes. Done. Yeah. Because, I mean, I've done it before, and yeah. then you end up making a mistake. You yes. want to add this, you make a mistake. Uh, so it's best when you get to, okay, like I will always ask my family to say, what do you think? Yes. And I'm grateful that I have, um, my biggest critic is my brother. Yeah. He will walk mm -hmm. in and say, that's not straight. <laughs> or my daughter will say, mom, she's beautiful, <laughs> but... The head's a bit too big, why yeah. don't you? you know? <laughs> so, but once they say to me, that's nice, then I know, okay, yeah. I'll stop here. I have to stop here. I'll stop here. So yeah. I, I think people kind of uh, get introduced to their own art in different ways. And I know people who actually have to go to school to learn these things. And then there are some who... Uh, to whom the art just comes naturally, especially right. in Gadugma, you, know, you still have got people who do painting and they right. never went to school at all. Right. Uh, but I guess at some point you realize, hmm, it looks like I may be in this thing for some time and maybe let me just get a little bit more knowledge about this. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten to that point or for you it's just like, no, I don't want you to get that serious, I just want to paint. Okay. Um... I've been doing it as a hobby, yeah. right? Because I enjoy doing it. And like I said to you, it's therapeutic. Yes. And at the end of the day, I love to see that I've created something. Yes. And what I've created has actually turned out nice. Yeah. Um, I never learned. Yeah. I never went to school to learn. I never even took up arts like yeah. in secondary school. Ah. The way other people are privileged that they, you know, they have a choice to take up arts. Yeah. It's something I never, I never thought of doing in mm -hmm. secondary school. Yeah. And um, I've never been on any art courses. Yeah. What I do, though, for guidance, sometimes you go on tutorials. Yeah. Yeah, the short tutorials on YouTube. Yes. They'll teach you how to do something. But, you know, I'm not, I don't like to learn stuff that way, where you're reading or whatever. Yeah. I, I like to practice. I prefer. Yeah. Right? I'll try doing it a certain mm -hmm. way. Yeah. And I think it doesn't look nice i'll change it so change you're training it. So yourself i'm training myself okay. exactly yeah and just knowing the basics of at least how to get the thing right and then mixing you your you colors just, yeah. exactly but for me it's it's uh the most important thing is what looks nice uh -huh. and like you say sometimes what i feel is not nice what doesn't look nice is actually beautiful to to yes. somebody else yes especially when it comes to arts like I think most people will, will paint what they like, yes. yeah, you know, and we're not actually considering the the vast choices yeah. people have. You have to paint for different, you know, different choices. Yeah. So I mean, we'll, we'll get to get into your um, should we call it a it's gallery? A, it's a small we gallery. Will, <laughs> we will get and to get a studio yeah. because everything is done <laughs> in there. <laughs> We we'll get to we'll get to get into our gallery to see some of the paintings. Uh, but this is what, and I think maybe when you take us uh, on a small tour, mm -hmm. you tell us about this. What I've always wondered is, in the mind of an artist, which one comes first? Is it how you want to express yourself through this piece of art, mm -hmm. or how you want to please the person who's going to see it, or maybe there's something that you're trying to achieve, and then you're trying you're driving towards that, or. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, you just pick a few pieces and you're like, okay, let me just, let me just uh, 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 paint something here. 
Um, I mean, you see some things and they're like, what do we have under that mechanism? And you can't make me believe my baby. Okay, okay it's okay, signed. And... Yeah, it's actually, that's why you have different styles, right? Yes. Of, uh, painting styles. Yes. Others, uh, okay, you get, I think the ones you're talking about would be abstract. Way. I would look at it and... I have never understood abstract yeah, art. Yeah, and I would see nothing in this painting apart from different colors mm -hmm. and shapes. But, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Yeah, but the painter himself was actually envisioning something while doing that. Really? Yeah. Or somebody else would see, could see a car in mm -hmm. this picture, whereas somebody else would see a flower in the same, in the <laughs> same. So it's crazy. But for me, it's like, I'll look at something, something pretty mm -hmm. like this. Oh, I'd love to, to mm -hmm. capture this. Mm -hmm. I want to recreate this. Yeah. Then you'll try. That's, that's how I, I paint. So the way I look at it, it's like uh, people have got different levels of appreciation of art. Mm -hmm. For someone like me, I guess I would say I'm a pretty basic person. So what I want to see is something that makes sense. Yes, if someone exactly. is trying to paint a car, I want to see that they have then brought... It looks, like it looks pretty much like a, a, a <laughs> exactly. real car. If it's no, a flower, me. yeah? That's if, it's so. a, if, it's, if it's a flower, then I'll say this really looks like a real rose flower. Yeah. It doesn't look like it was painted at all. It's exactly. like a real picture. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's, that's uh, what I'd call the basic. But then there are other levels where people see beauty in things that a regular eye wouldn't see beauty exactly. in. Exactly. Um, you're talking about um, a style called realism. Yes. Right, where the painter, the artist, is creating an image that looks real. Yes. Right? Yeah. Like you're saying, you see something, if I'm painting a rose, it must look like a rose. Yes. Right? Yeah. Not for you to to discover, to w look at this, you know, different angles. Say, like, what, where's the fun in it? I mean, I'm yeah. supposed to be enjoying this, exactly. right? It doesn't have to be too hard. Yeah. So that's the, my style. It's realism. Okay. If I'm going to paint Joab, it must be Joab. It must look yeah, like it Joab. it must look like Joab. Yeah. Exactly. So that's what you call realism, which is what I think majority of people are into. You might have seen this on Facebook, but you didn't know the lady behind it. And the lady behind it is our guest today on Cruise 5. It's called Bell Crafts. And it's all kinds of crafts. But today we came for this. And Sherlyn, would you kindly take us through some of the artworks that we have here? And I've been talking a lot about uh, the paintings that uh, Sherlyn does. And uh, this is uh, this is this is her work. I bet these are the works of your hands. The works <laughs> of my hands. Yes. And as you can see, um, I'm drawn to painting women. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. Buddy. Why is it uh, uh, like on this wall all we have are women? Okay, um, it's not just women. Yes. Okay. You can see 90% is the African woman. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, Headgears and all things. Yes. African women. Because yeah. in an African woman, yeah. I see a lot of beauty. Yes. I see a lot of strength. Yes. And the African woman has been through so much. Yeah. And he's still going through so much, yes. but she endures. Yeah. And I'm just I would just like to depict the beauty of an African woman. They they're vibrant, they're strong, they're beautiful. I love the colors of Africa. I love painting bright colors. As you can see, these are bright colors, yeah. And she's, she's, she's quite fashionable. She's, okay, the story about this. There must be a this, story behind this. Thing. This painting was, I was supposed to paint myself. <laughs> okay, <with> long <laughs> hair, so I, and it turned out looking like no, somebody it else. It does look like somebody else. This, this doesn't, yeah. then it goes so, this out. No, that doesn't no, look anything like that. long hair, maybe. <laughs> I could look like that. If you have long black hair, that, it would look like that. Yeah. Ah, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. So, um, I, I know there's the whole African thing, but like what, what inspires you to do one picture from another? Like there's another picture, there's another woman. Mm -hmm. Is it just you sitting down and thinking about, okay, how about I paint a different woman who looks like this? Or there's something that's going on in your mind? No, for me, it's about um, capturing different people's yeah. choices. Yeah. You know, um, trying to fulfill 
different different needs yes right yeah. um like i have people that will come here and say hey for me this is me oh i'm in a day quite whereas somebody else would prefer this so yeah. i want to to have quite a, a diverse range yeah. right but i have my personal favorites yeah. okay this was the first apart from the map of africa that i did yes after that one came this okay. right uh -huh. um i took a lot of time painting this and when my aunt saw this she said to me do you cut fabric to to yes. put on the head i said no this is this all, is all hand painted yeah. yeah so i love her because she's one of the first african women that i painted and then her i think she's she's my favorite because of the brightness she yeah. she just captures you um yeah, yeah. what i'm i'm a, i'm a some people paint on, on on canvas or things like that I, I don't know anything about that what what would you say about this what 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 surfaces do you paint on okay. and what do you use okay all my paintings are acrylic okay. paints on canvas okay um other people paint on paper mm -hmm. um on other you know other mediums okay but i prefer using acrylic because okay it's um it's better to work with i find it more fluid i find mm -hmm. oil paints a bit too too they're difficult for me yeah. to use it and you have to use um a chemical to yeah. dilute it whereas mm -hmm. acrylic you use water okay okay so it dries faster okay. than the oil paints which is not such a good thing because if you make a mistake then you can't fix then it. you can't it, fix it it, it, it dries it dries pretty fast but as you can see i don't i don't varnish them mm. i don't use any finishing on the on the paintings but for years this has remained the same it hasn't mm. faded mm. so it's important to use quality paints of course i guess yeah and talking about quality there are more uh, artworks of quality in this mm -hmm. room let, let, let's let's just take uh, uh, take a look around and see um a bit of some flower here mm -hmm. and and uh, it's kind of a village setting yeah tell us what's going on okay basically like i said my family supports me a lot and yeah. when they see something nice yeah they want me to do it. Those two were actually sent to me by my cousin that said, I'd love you to paint this, please do this. So okay. I painted those. So of course, once I did them, I sent her and said, see, I've done it. She's like, yeah. oh, beautiful. So, But yeah. you said you're not, you're not, are, you're, are you selling these things or you, you're just doing them for fun or you, it's like people order? How exactly does it go? People order. If they want something painted and um, then they can order to say, could you paint me a flower? Or whatever you know so I would do it to to suit what what the person is asking for and then a lot of okay Joab this is not all that I've painted most of my paintings I have gifted to people ah, yeah okay for example last year December I was going to Mozambique for Christmas I've yeah. got family there yeah. and my cousin was building her house yeah said to me um i would love one of your paintings to, to be, be to be in my house yeah. and that gave me so much pleasure yeah so i traveled with this painting yeah uh, well, rolled it up yeah. yeah and then um presented it to her uh for christmas yeah. made her happy made yeah. me happy fantastic yeah so fantastic. that's that's what gives me joy it's actually i've gifted a few a few people I've given them my uh, my paintings. It makes me proud to do that. Now, something that would make me even more happy and uh, probably make you <laughs> even uh, more proud is to see you mm -hmm. at work. Right. And um, I, I don't know, maybe you must be in your own mood, in your own <laughs> zone that you get into for you to do that. But I can't believe that you're the one doing these things yeah. until I see you doing that. Okay. Is that something you can do for us? Yes, we can do we can do that together. We will do that together. Did you hear that? We're gonna do a painting together. I have never done any painting before. Okay, you can uh, do a few strokes. I yeah, but yeah. just a few strokes. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do a painting together, share yeah. it. And I'll be very glad. You can do the painting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll just go and I'll just go and close painting. it. Um, oh by the way, Joe, yes. you see this this one here. That's yeah. actually me. Ah, right? okay. Is that in Mozambique? In this? Oh right, yes! Oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> I have the tattoo there. <laughs> yes. 
Yeah, so fantastic. That's actually, so that, that's Shelly and over yeah, there in a, in a flowing robe. <laughs> and we're going to do another painting. We're going to do a painting together. Um, this is the space that you work in. This um, is the space I work in. But you say that painting can be quite therapeutic. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, do you do your paintings in a room like this all the time or sometimes you want to be in a garden or do you mind painting when people are making noise? Like, t tell me how you get into that mood. Okay, so when I feel like painting or I want to get away, so I want to escape, yeah. basically, yeah. I'll come in here okay. and um, shut the door, yeah. staying here for hours. Yes. I have to be on my own. I can't paint with noise around me. There's times I want to paint outside. If it's a nice day, yeah. you know, a nice bright day, it's yeah. not too windy, yeah. it's not dusty, then yeah. I'll go and paint outside. Okay. Um, I used to paint on a desk before, yeah. you know, I'll do my painting like this, but then I realized that it, it's not good for the picture because you're not actually looking at the picture at eye level. I have so. always, yeah, I've always wondered why they have to do this. So that, that explains yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So like when you're painting while bending and, and it's on the table like that, mm -hmm. when you pop the picture up, it looks slightly it, different. It looks, yeah, slightly different. So this is the best angle to paint at. And even then, yeah. when you paint, you would still have to like, take a few steps back every to now see how and it's then coming out. to see how it's coming out. Because if I'm painting, I'm this close to, yeah. to the... So I'm looking at it this close. Right? Yes. So I may not see some distortions ah, so it's important so, to always step back okay or, like i do i would also ask a family member to come and look at it so yeah. then they see something that maybe i haven't seen in the picture i guess yeah. i guess even in life you need to take those moments don't you? <laughs> yes, this, you, do. Like, yeah. yes like, you do yes like when you're too close to something sometimes you don't realize what mistakes that's, you're making that's actually that. very true yeah, yeah so like you step back a bit like that's what the whole is supposed to do. Yes. You step back, you look at what you're doing, mm -hmm. and then look the at things it from, that are from different yeah, angles. Yeah, the as things well. that are not coming exactly. out fine, then you go and fix those. Exactly. All kinds of stuff here. I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to paint, I promise you. Uh, okay. I want to know what's going on here. So much stuff. Right. So this is my easel, which a lot of people would laugh at because it's massive. Yes. But there's a good reason why I have a big easel, which is homemade as well. Yeah, I, I, I can see, it. like, it's, it's like you just put every, a, a couple of things together and then exactly. boom. But it works. It, it does work. All these paintings It looks quite sturdy, you see, it I can is, even yeah. shake it like this. And as you can see, I've done a painting as big as this, so yeah. that's why I need it. And I can do several. I have her. Yeah. Then I can do a, start working on another one here. If I'm bored or irritated with this one, That's I've had what enough happened. Of, yeah. you know, then I start another one. Or I could also do another one behind <laughs> it. Yeah. So like with her, I'm I haven't touched her in over a month. <laughs> yes. And I'll most probably poor lady. What's yeah, wrong with her? Lady, yeah, okay. she's giving me grief. <laughs> She's giving me grief at the moment, so I just need to take time, reflect a bit, then I'll come back to her. You yeah, will. I so that happens, I guess. Yes. I didn't know. I thought, no, it I thought it's as easy as, oh, I start this, I finish, boom. No. But I take it sometimes you, you, you get stuck. You get like, stuck. Like, okay, yeah. let me get away from this. Yes. Let me get some inspiration, then I'll get back exactly. to this one. It's like writing. You yes. get these writers get writer's block, so and then they stop, and then they yeah. and then they come back to it. Exactly. So this that's what's happened with her. Yeah, it's been over a month actually. So I'm gonna think of how yeah. to, you uh, know, how to start on her again and yes. get back into into the mood. This you can tell me. They don't have to hear this. Mm -hmm. Are there pieces of work that you've done mm -hmm. and you finished them mm -hmm. and you said this is crap. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I've got some hidden. <laughs> you don't want anybody to see. Like no, I'm not. I'm not even framing. Sure, but I've hidden them in here. <laughs> you won't see them. Won't we'll see go them. on a, on an Easter egg hunt, and we're gonna find them. Because <laughs> I think, it as happens. we said, this is a, 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 a work of art. Yes. And you've got an imagination in your mind. What you want it to be. But it's like. just not coming out exactly. like that. And you're like, you know what? It happens. Yeah? It happens. So, so you don't much. have to beat yourself too hard no. about it. You know the painting I showed you that I said is me. It's actually I have a photograph of myself. Somebody took. I was at a place yeah. in. Um, 
in Ilongwe. Yes. And it, this is actually a garden. Yeah. There's ponds and yeah. all that, like a forest kind of place. So I started this painting. I was like, I'd like to, you know, yeah. paint this. Yeah. I started it and things were just not going right. Yeah. I'll change this corner. Didn't look right, but my daughter kept saying, Mom, it's fine. Trust me, it looks good. Yeah, no. But in the end, I, I whitewashed the whole thing. <laughs> And started so all over, over again. again and oh just change it. Now it's the lake. It's not. Yeah. It's not a forest anymore. Yeah, so that said, happens. Yeah, yeah. But that's yeah. The creator. I think exactly. it's like a mini god also yes. because you're creating something <laughs> exactly. that will look Exactly. I can change it so if it's, I don't it's, like it's your, it. It's your thing to change. Yes. Tell me about these brushes. There are all mm -hmm. kinds of brushes here, and I see there are even bigger brushes here. Yes. Okay. So basically, on the when I get the canvas, which by the way I make because I can't find them, oh, right? I was going to yeah. ask about that, where you get this material. This supplies. Okay. It's difficult to get supplies here, but okay. I did find a place in Ilongwe uh -huh. called Waka Stationers that do have um, the canvases, the brushes, they okay. have good paints. Okay. Yeah, so the last supplies I got were from there, but I'm still making my own canvases because I can choose the size I want okay. made. All right. Yeah, so I say I want this size. Yeah. So for the priming of the canvas, which is like preparing it, because when you start off, when you're making your canvas, you start with fabric, right? It's just plain fabric like this. So yeah. I can't just start my drawing or painting on this okay. because it absorbs all the paint. It goes straight through. So ah. I have to take, that's where the big brushes come in. Okay. I will take, um, there's a product called Gesso which kind of seals the, the cloth, ah, right? Okay. It's a, a primer. Okay. If I don't have that, then I use white acrylic paint, but you dilute it. Okay. Brush over the whole, the whole canvas so it, it sets, right? Yes. So that when I'm when I now bring my colors on top, it doesn't just go through. Yeah, yeah. If I do that, then I'll use a lot of paint. If I don't prime yes, the yes, canvas, it will, yeah. it just put the exactly. into the cloth, exactly. into the material. So the canvases have to be primed. All right. So these I'm making myself, as you can see, they okay. have um, the strips of wood. So yeah. I buy the fabric and yeah. then we clip them in. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then all kinds of paint as well. And I, I don't know, does each of them have a name, uh, the, the, the paint, is the, the, the uh, colors? Okay, so basically, these are the, the paints I prefer working with. These are acrylic paints okay. and the brand is Heritage. Okay. Okay, because I, I like the texture of, um, of this paint. But I take it you can also create other colors of your own? Absolutely. Okay. You can, just by mixing on a palette. Mm -hmm. Or I use... Uh, Sorry, I've got all sorts of containers. I use a ice cube <laughs> tray, right? So you can see. Because I'm going to ice in the, the ice. fridge. <laughs> so I can mix different colors in okay, here. I okay. use my knife for mixing. Yeah. Yeah. And then you see how it's coming out. Exactly. And then you see if you like the color or not. Yeah. All then right. if I like the color, I'll actually make my own mm -hmm. and make it in bulk. Mm -hmm. I put it in, yes. in, a, in a container. Okay. Yeah. So now we want to do the painting. Okay. We're here in this gallery. Mm -hmm. What do we do first? I see that <laughs> apron is quite messed up. I think it's the <laughs> one that you use. This apron, yeah. I'm going to have to use this apron because I have ended up with messy clothes, messy shoes. Yes. Yeah, I've ruined a lot of good clothes because oh, sometimes... Okay. After I've had my bath in the evening, yeah. okay, I'll put on my pajamas yeah. and then I'll decide I want to paint. And then you jump <laughs> so I'll come here with my pajamas <laughs> and start painting. So my pajamas have got paint, my slippers have got paint, good yeah. clothes have got paint. So we're going to use an apron, yeah, excuse yeah. my messy apron. And Job, if you're going to paint with me, I'm afraid you're going to have to use an apron. Gladly. No problem at all. No problem at all. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, very, it's very feminine, but yeah, don't mind it. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> But we want to see an assassin also. Can you open it? 
<laughs> it suits you, Joab. I can I can paint in the kitchen. I can paint. <laughs> it suits you. It does, right? So about my jambula jambula. I guess this is you trying to define who the maoji and right because yeah? i like to have a base yeah um i haven't gotten to the stage of course there's some paintings where you can just pick up your brush and start stroking yes, yeah, away yeah. but for this one okay and for you as well yeah. to show you this is how i start off my painting okay okay with a pencil sketch all right so i can look at a picture and say okay and copy it basically yeah right Take a pencil and start drawing from there. The outline, this is how I want it, this is the size I want it, etc. Should painters be very good at drawing? You don't you don't have to be, but it helps. It does help. It what does I help. think what we're gonna do Because you just you are not good at drawing oh at all. I mean, like, you know, a jaw doesn't come out like this. I it looks like a donkey or something. I've been through that. Yes, <laughs> you find, oh gosh, the, the chin is yeah, much the chin, out there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or well, the eyes are, uh, you the, the, know, not properly proportioned. Yeah, they're, they're too close. Yes. Like, like, like they're, they're almost yeah. hugging the nose. <laughs> so what are we going to paint today? Okay, today we're going to paint a sunflower. A sunflower? Right. Beautiful. What and do we start? take note that we, we will not be able to finish it today uh -huh. nah, don't worry yeah. it's too on, too on, everything I figure. so what i do is first of all take all the paints that i need yes and place them here which is very messy as well but yes. that's but that, I, I mean it, you can't expect uh this room to be neat at it all it goes with the job hey <laughs> i'm a day or even i would say even the bible i mean uh, my, my christian zamadi bible already you want to go really not and they will be my grand sheet of what is true if the bible looks brand new all the time that means you don't touch your bible <laughs> that's also very true. yeah that's very true so mm -hmm. yeah. and mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. gets, it gets really really nice. yeah, yeah. scrub and yeah. all that sometimes they say i look like a mechanic sometimes yeah you know? i mean that that <laughs> looks like a mechanic i look very i look very neat <laughs> by the way that's a uh, part of Bellcraft. Oh, so you uh, also you also do yes. this. Ah, okay. So Bellcraft yeah. is uh, all kinds of uh, exactly. crafts uh, yes. stuff. Okay. And um, apart from painting on canvas, yeah. I painted on walls as well. Ah. Yeah. Um, my brother owns a a lodge. Okay. Not a lodge, an entertainment area in Zalewa. Okay. It's called Travelers. Okay. A stopover. Yeah. So I went there, I spent like three days, three nights, and I painted some mm. nice designs wow. on his walls. Mm. I'll show you pictures. I, I, should, I should love yeah? to see those. I should love to see those. Okay, so Joab, with a sunflower, we all know it's bright. Yes. The colors are mainly orange, yeah. yellows. Yeah. Okay, so we'll start with, with the yellow. Okay. We must have water. Uh-huh. And what's, what's the water for? The water is used to dilute as well as for, for cleaning the brushes. Okay, all right. Yeah, so this is a, a brand new, it's a, a round brush, this which is, is good for... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but I must admit I've used them. I've used... Oh, yes, absolutely. If, if I can't find, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, so we... I'll basically do this, okay. or I'll mix in in the ice cube tray okay but for now okay so here i don't know if you can make out but this is the foliage right the yes. leaves yes, going yes that way yeah this bit here is the the center of the sunflower yeah the brown bit okay right and these are the petals okay so i don't know if you'd like to try Please. a few strokes because yeah. we'll start with the base color which which would be this one okay and then later on you can add some so you can start like from here okay yeah painting this when you're way. painting mm -hmm. what should you be very very careful about uh very okay it depends. too much paint maybe too much paint is no good it's gonna spill over to the other yeah, side it's no good and then your strokes you have to be mindful of your strokes my strokes as a color kind of done they shouldn't be Okay, um, it depends on the picture, right? On the okay. painting, because different paintings call for different kinds of strokes. Ah. Yeah? For example, if you're painting grass, then you would use short, quick strokes, a different kind of brush. Yes. 
But for petals, um, that's just fine. <laughs> You're doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> Shirley, I've seen all kinds of painting. Uh -huh. And I must say, behind every picture, there's a there's a painter and behind every painter there's a story right. and we were just talking about people who want to exaggerate their challenges mm -hmm. to a point where they don't want to do anything about it mm -hmm. i've seen people paint using their teeth using their teeth that's i think that's just god-given talent that is amazing i've seen people paint and using their feet exactly um disabled people being so creative and able to to achieve that kind of stuff is truly amazing and it just you you feel actually it actually makes me feel useless you know yeah, because he, if they can like achieve that, so that. much and then you get people who are fully able but have all kinds of excuses i know i can't do this no i can't do that. exactly oh this is too hard so it just it just goes to show like okay for now i have this little niece of mine she's yeah. based in along with my cousin's daughter yeah She's been looking at my paintings, her mom shows her, and this girl has taken it up. She's like, no, I want to paint like Auntie Shaleen. So she's asked me to send her pictures, how to do this. She wants to get an easel made for herself. And she's actually put up a little drawing that she's done out of uh, pencil on so? Facebook, which she's trying to, she, she was trying to sell to raise money to buy art supplies for herself you know to start uh, painting so that to me is, is inspiring because somebody's looking up to me and they want to they want to be like me yeah so that encourages me and you're sure nobody has ever painted in your family before you nobody just you just picked up a brush and started doing yeah it? so it's actually starting from i would say my generation mm -hmm. because like i say there's me then there's this little niece yeah, that really wants so to take it up yeah. seriously so I'm encouraging her if it okay we use fabric in here like crazy you just you can just mess oh, cleaning or whatever so but you're gonna have to go over uh -huh. okay but it's looking good already <laughs> thank you thank you very much thank you so much I'm a man of different talents <laughs> Cooking, <laughs> painting, pretty much like one thing. Um, and you say that for now mm -hmm. you haven't gone like fully commercial. No. Where you do these paintings and you put them in a gallery somewhere where people can go and see. I e haven't e done that, Joe. E is that something that you, you might consider to do at some point? At some point I would like to, not just for myself, yeah. okay, but Malawi has amazing talent yeah right yeah. i've been to one exhibition only with okay. my work all right this exhibition was um done by s sgw auctioneers okay so they set it up in limby yeah and i saw amazing amazing work there yes it, it was really inspiring for me as well i i learned different techniques what um mediums people are using yeah you know so that inspired me to try other stuff okay the problem is it wasn't um okay not a lot of people came which was sad for me so, very sad to see so that's that's the other thing um d does do things like this have space in a malawian uh or for a malawian audience because i think i don't know if people have reached an age where they can appreciate uh, works of art like this it's actually just a very small percentage it? very small percentage mm -hmm. um, I think people need to learn okay maybe this is good so people see what actually goes into into yeah. art because <laughs> a lot of <laughs> and there's passion behind it and they say yeah. everything done with love yes is well done yeah. because you're putting your heart into it yeah. and the painters I've met in uh, in Malawi yeah. are people that are passionate about what they do yeah. right yeah. you have uh, you have the guys that sit by the curio place yes, yes. they sit in there for days yeah. and they won't sell a thing yeah there was a guy on the main road here in Namiwawa yeah. for days he had his paintings and I would drive past there and see the same paintings and it's sad because I feel that 
painters or artists don't have enough support yeah. in the country um, the, the market maybe is not big enough or the appreciation is not there I heard a uh, uh, while you're painting I heard a, a story of a, a, a guy who mm -hmm. comes and buys those things mm -hmm. at like zero tamala mm -hmm. and he packages them takes them to the UK and does some nice framing and stuff and sells and them sells for quite a lot of time. You see, so that's, I find that to be so, so unfair. It's exploitative. It's, actually. of course, they're exploiting, you know, it's the It's exploitative the because, here. I mean, the original idea came from this person. The exactly, time, the exactly. energy, everything. And all you're and doing is just buying them. And Joab, I've spoken to them, I've seen... You can be painting while you're telling them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I've seen uh, the material they use. It's sad, yeah. okay? I... I'm able to go and buy canvas from Lambert's. I go and buy my material. Yeah. I'm able to pay a carpenter to do this. I thank God, yeah. right, yeah. that I can do that. But these other passionate guys yeah. do not have the, the resources, yeah. okay? They will nail a piece of fabric which is not even ideal to yeah. paint on. Yeah. And they will still do stuff on yeah. that. Yeah. They will go and buy paints that are, that are not good quality paints yeah. i would say right but, they'll still be able but to they're still able to produce great stuff and that is so admirable it's it's really nice to see but what i would like okay with the the new government yeah. tonse yeah they have promised okay it's new hope right yes they haven't been in very long but they're promising us stuff yeah. the youth job creation you know for the youth if they could look into the arts yeah. and maybe open up a gallery, yeah. have more exhibitions, yeah. right? For for the talented artists to, to exhibit their stuff, yeah. right? And gain um, exposure and get their stuff exposed as well because we don't have big enough market here. I would say maybe the exports yeah. market it would yeah. actually be better. It's crazy, but people go would rather go into game and buy a picture. Now there's a difference between a picture and a painting, yeah. right? Yes, there is. A picture is digitally created. Yeah. It's basically a photograph and yeah. framed or whatever. Yeah. So they'll go and buy that because it's cheaper. It's, it's more affordable. Yeah. But they don't see the value of a painting. And like I said, it's, it's unique, right? Somebody's taken the time. Yeah. Each and every stroke right it takes time it takes passion it's talent love goes into it yeah. whereas those pieces are mass produced yeah. pieces just printed I, I i i i have a feeling that for an artist sometimes all it takes is somebody to appreciate your art for you to do more mm -hmm. and um, as you're saying if there was uh something done to give these people space okay. where their art would be displayed uh -huh. and where their art would be appreciated it would actually drive them to do more exactly but i mean honestly i don't i don't mind how good the painter i, I am but if nobody's appreciating my art nobody's buying my art that won't give me energy to go and paint some more exactly it's it's uh, it's what motivates you when people appreciate what you're doing yes yeah and that that encourages you like I said, with me, it's my family and friends. I have very, very supportive friends that will say, oh, that is so nice. Oh, please do this for me. Oh, you know, you really need to expose your stuff. Yeah. And, okay, I know there's a place that does a gallery in yeah. town, yeah. but I don't think they take everybody's art, yeah. right? Yeah. Only specific pieces. Yeah. Now, there's many different artists, so why, why can't the government assist yeah. come in and say okay we're actually going to open like a national yeah. gallery yeah. where i could go have my corner just even if it's at a, a fee like a monthly yeah. fee or yeah. whatever yeah but at least right? a go-to place where exactly you know, if i go to this place i'll get all kinds of art and I, you can actually commission some other pieces of art exactly yeah. yeah so you get people coming in and say oh this is work done by shalino could you come and do this for me yeah or I want this, um, you know, copy this image for me, stuff like that. But right now, I'd say there's no, no exposure and no appreciation for, for local arts. 
and and you get to you get to times where you see some really really poorly uh, done pieces of art and mm -hmm. you're like I, are you serious? We don't have people in Malawi who can do something better. I mean, I don't want to start mentioning names and giving examples, uh -huh. but certainly we have seen very uh, 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 horrific things. <laughs> uh, uh, Joe, uh, that's not very nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, not so nice. Uh, not so <laughs> nice things. And they're like, where did get the? Where did they, they get the people to do this? Gosh. We've got all a wealth of talent in our country. We do have a wealth of talent. We yeah. really do. I was at, uh, okay, I'm going to go off the painting a bit, but I went yeah. to a meeting where um, local organizations were, were meeting some government officials on the same job creation, yeah. and I saw amazing stuff being produced exactly. right here in this country. And you're like, I, ah. I, And I didn't even know. So it was an eye-opener even for me. Yes. Yeah. Mm. There was a guy at Trade Fair Grounds. He makes magnificent boots, you know army boots. I was yeah. like, oh wow, you know, this is really, really good stuff. Locally produced. Yeah, locally produced. Then I looked at his shoes. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. he says, yeah, you know, I can make my own shoes. Yeah, so, you know, we need to, we need to be supportive of local industry. Kumano, enama, nena, and I don't want to be imperialist here. Kumano, enama, ona, ngadikuti, zintungari, zope, ndajan, ndizaa zungu. Mm. I mean, I'm not even going to go to bank. Kuzi banka kabe na kuzi. Kugula koso. Kugula koso. Hey, I'm going to go to the bank. 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 I'm going to go to the I will not sell, so when I'm done with this, there's no way I can sell this for 15000 Yeah. But you can go and find a, a one printed, Yeah. Yeah. digitally mm -hmm. printed, you'll pay 15000 I can't okay. charge yeah. 15000 for a painting. In fact, at this exhibition, my stuff was up, I put prices, I would put a, a painting like that for 40000 And the, my fellow artists were like, no, mm -hmm. you, you've underpriced your stuff. You you need to put it up maybe four times yeah, more yeah. because this painting is worth a lot more. Yeah. You know, look at what goes into the painting mm. and how long it takes, mm -hmm. you know, for you to complete a painting and all that. So don't don't underprice your, your stuff. Do you think we have reached a stage where somebody can do painting for a career in Milan? You know, it's not nice to discourage yeah. people. Yeah. If you are, if you love painting, mm -hmm. okay, if it's your passion, I would say do it, but as a sideline, yeah. because you, it's not something you can you can rely on a hundred percent. It won't pay my rent. Yes. It won't pay my school fees. Yes. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. Malawi has not reached that that level yeah. yet. Okay. Like I said, the appreciation is not really there. It's only. A few people, mm -hmm. and I find that maybe Lilongwe is a bit more, yeah. a bit more advanced mm -hmm. in that sense, as yeah. you know, they appreciate such things more, yeah. mm -hmm. more than in Blantai. So, as much as I, I don't like to discourage people to say don't do this because they say do what you love, right? Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. always the best thing to do. Yes. But at the same time, we have to be realistic. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to lead somebody on and say, yeah, take yeah, on this, painting. It's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Start painting. Yeah. You know, because you will sit on a painting for months, yeah. for years, yeah. without selling it, then what? Yeah, that's we, the we have not reached that, that level yet, unfortunately. But what have you found out of painting? You said it does help you uh, calm down and it's therapeutic. I, I guess so some people might say, well, I, I think maybe I should try it um, uh, as a pastime if, if they've got the, the energy and the time it's, and the resources, of course. It's very therapeutic because, um, like I say, come, I come in here, I'm on my own, right? Uh -huh. um, so I'm, I've, I've calmed down whatever troubles I may have had. I've brushed them away <laughs> with each stroke, my troubles are going. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so I would, I would say give it a try. And also, it's the satisfaction it gives you when you're done with that painting. Yeah. Right, as you can see, I'm already beginning to create something yes. beautiful here. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the satisfaction I get at the end of it, uh -huh. right, to say, I've created this. It looks good. It makes me feel good. So, yeah, I, w I would encourage people to take it up as a hobby rather than in doing stuff you shouldn't be doing, you know? Yeah, well, like there's a lot of stuff that people are doing that they shouldn't be doing. Yeah, um, so. But stuff that people do that I, I don't understand why they do is also. Uh, give pictures names, mm -hmm. give paintings names. Yeah. Um, I don't understand the science behind that. Okay, it's not actually a science. There's no science, right? No, no science. I guess it's just like a, a, a product code. Yes, yes. For example, if, you, if you're selling something in a shop, yeah. it has a code. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's just nice to, to name your stuff when you... Like this, yeah. when it's done, this will be Joab's sun, sunflower. Joab's sunflower? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Well, I wish I had a, a, a real sunflower. <laughs> Joab's sunflower. And jo when I'm done with this, this will be for you. For your home. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Today we're yeah. here at uh, Sherlyn Sute's uh, residence. And uh, this is her gallery where she displays pieces of art and where she does her paintings. And she trades under the name Bell Arts because apparently it's not just the paintings that she does. Uh, she also does uh, all kinds of artistic stuff, uh, including uh, making chairs and tables um, out of, um, uh, what, 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 did you, what did you call them? Um, pallets. The pallets, yes, exactly. out of pallets yeah. and, and all kinds of artistic stuff. Zemuzola munozi ndi zintu zimene ama jita majalo so amene au jambula apa motaniza na ndine apa tikujambula sunflower imene hii lero siri maliza umatika ati kujudula umatika maa maliza nyimbo imene hii kupatia ni yaku mapedo muiwona sunflower imene hii ida malizika but you said um, uh, Sherlyn you, you're quite I should say you're quite fortunate that you've got other things that bring um, uh, butter on, 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 on your bread. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's still a bit, we still haven't gotten to a stage in Malawi where you would say, okay, so this is what I'll be doing for a living. Mm -hmm. um, so, but it's a favorite pastime, as you say. Yes, it, it is. It does help people um, unwind. Exactly, it does. It does, um, like I said, apart from the therapy, yeah. It's also just satisfying when, yes. you, when you're done with something. Yes. It's satisfying to see what you've created. So where are you going with this? Okay, where I'm going with this, at the moment, it's a hobby. And when I do get requests for paintings, yeah. I, I do sell, okay. right? But like I said, it's, it's not enough to sustain somebody. Yeah. So for the moment, it's just a hobby. Yeah. But what I would like to do in the near future is open up a gallery right yes, yeah. that will exhibit my work but also support other artists so yeah. it wouldn't just exhibit my stuff but yes. a lot of malawian art because we don't actually have a national gallery no we don't we don't have so it's such a sad thing for a country it is very talented people it is because there is a lot of talent that's for sure so we need some way to display to display these things. As you can see, I've converted, this was a bar at home, I've converted it into a mini gallery, yeah. right? It's just makeshift gallery and studio in one because I can't afford to, to go and rent a the big place yeah, yeah, in yeah, town yeah, yeah. and then sell one, one painting per month. I can't, yeah. I can't um, afford the rent that way. Where does the government come in on this? What do they have to do? the government would have to form, for example, a, a kind of grouping yes. for arts, not only painting, but like those that do sculptures, yes. for example, yeah. right, and open up like, it could be a kind of a flea market, yeah. Yeah? yeah, or a building where people can go and display their wares, especially for that. Yeah, it's it's only recently when, like, in, you know, when they did a proper curious market, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you could see, even if you know, like, 
exactly. and, and yet when you're talking about tourism, those are some of the things that people rush to. They, exactly. they want to get an event from Malawi. Right. So government needs to, to form something, establish something where people that people can use as a platform. Uh -huh. The artists can use as a platform to display their products because it is it is a forex earner actually. Yes. It really is a forex, uh, forex earner, but also maybe to to um, establish proper, like an art school would yeah. would would actually be good because or maybe just training. Or yeah, training. Who are in that. Yeah, or have some um, some uh, mentors in yeah. you know art mentors that could come and you know teach people a few skills, not everything, but just to guide. Yeah. To guide the artists here. I have I've heard people complain about uh, like away from painting but maybe sculpture and things like that mm -hmm. like they need some uh, materials some equipment some mm -hmm. heavy duty equipment where they can do like bases for their for their uh, pieces of, uh, of of sculpture that they want to do mm -hmm. uh, they don't have the materials to do that <laughs> yeah so it, it's difficult we need we need to have like art schools mm -hmm. you know where you have people that come and come and teach people how to how to do these things i i met a guy that is making beautiful cladding here in malawi mm -hmm. i was also very impressed mm -hmm. whereas people are used to importing yeah. you know the the tiles you see on walls yeah. for the outside of your house mm -hmm. it's being done here so if we have more people into that mm -hmm. i think it's such a good thing but we need government to to support, if possible, and I feel that that's that's possible with this with this new government. I'm looking forward. I'm excited. Um, I'm positive. Yeah. I think they're going to make a, a lot of a lot of changes yeah. and consider all, including people, you know, sectors like like this. You are beginning to sound like a politician. <laughs> sure. Are you interested in politics? Uh, I wouldn't say interested in politics, but um, where there's change, yeah. I do. I do try and fight for change. Where, where there's change needed, yeah. I will try and fight for change in whatever little way I can. Okay. I'll contribute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will leave uh, Shirley to do her piece of art, uh, but I think we have to wrap up this program. Uh, coming from the Shirley Sute residence here in Blanta. Um, now, I know that you say uh, you find this kind of work therapeutic. Uh, mm -hmm. I've got a set of questions which are even more therapeutic than, <laughs> than, than the painting that you do. Okay, uh, shoot. <laughs> and after you do this, you feel absolutely, you feel like you have to go to heaven. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Uh, but first, I want you to tell me your full name. What is your full name? My full name is Shaleen Ali Suti. Ali being my father. Okay. My father is Ali Suti, oh. that's, that's his name. So they decided to give me <laughs> a man's name in the middle. <laughs> but I'm, all, I'm okay with Shailen that. Shailen Ali Suti, do you have any tattoos? Yes. Do you have any piercings? Yes, I do. Do you have children? Yes, I have one. Have you ever shot a gun? No. Have you cried over someone? <laughs> Joe, I think that... <laughs> Is very yes, I'm a very, I'm a very emotional <laughs> person. I'm a Libra. It was, it was obvious how you started, but you have obviously done that before. Yes, have you I fallen have. in love before? Yes. Have absolutely. you killed a chicken before? No. Have you killed a goat before? No. <laughs> have you gotten into a fight before? Yes. Have you gotten any surgeries? Yes, I have. Have you ever been hospitalized? Yes. Have you donated blood? No. Do you know your blood group? No. Have you ever smoked weed? No. Are they light detectors? <laughs> <laughs> no, we trust you're saying the truth. Yeah. Would you smoke weed? No. I'm actually afraid of it. You are afraid of yeah. weed? Um, I know people that do it, yeah. right? But I just feel I don't, I don't have the need. Yeah? I, I don't have fun. to. No, what what fun? I just don't know what it what it could do to me. How would how would I react? That's what you, you, know? you smoke. Hey, no, 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 thank you. No, I'm not, thank you. Uh, I'm not so you would never smoke weed. No. You don't even think about it. No. But do you drink alcohol? 
Yes, I do. And have you broken someone's heart? I don't know, actually. <laughs> no, I have. You have? I have, yeah. Have, have you had a crush on someone? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's <laughs> how we're going to end it on Cruise Five with Shen Lady Sute uh, speaking from her art gallery, uh, which also happens to be in her house here in Blantyre.